So today we're heading down to Charleston. We go probably a few times throughout the year for different reasons. Today, we've got visits with the convention center and the embassy suite. We're gonna be going over some of the new space that we have down there and doing a little planning and site visit. And then we're also meeting with some of the folks from our new offsite venue. Can't say anything about that yet, but we're gonna be doing a site visit over there, doing some planning and discussion. And then we're gonna be meeting with a few different partners and vendors and just spending the day down in Charleston but it's always a lot of fun when Morgan and I get to go down and and just start the planning process for fitness of the coast so this and we're heading over to the venue for our off-site workout and one of the things that we're going over there to look at is we're, we're going to be looking at transition areas where we're going to have athletes transition we're going to be looking at the locker rooms at the facility we're going to be looking at some of the space to see where we're going to have briefings, where we're going to have athletes and teams warm up, uh, and let's just look through some logistical things. So some things we're always trying to figure out is how do we make everything as efficient as possible with our time, just so that way we can get the most out of the day for the athletes. So and it's pretty hot out here. I am sweaty. We're doing just a little logistical planning, mapping out. So we're going for a walk. It's hot out here in July in Charleston. What are you doing? Walking. Oh, you know why I took the shirt off? It's hot. I had to pop the top. I didn't want to be all sweat, have my shirt all get all sweaty. Plus, I'm a CrossFitter. Even when doing event planning, you take your shirt off. All right, hey Morgan, we just been leaving the offsite venue. Give me your thoughts. It's the first time you've seen it. It's so cool. Uh, I think everyone's gonna be really stoked. First time doing an event like this. It's gonna be a Totally different test. No, of you didn't what, ruin it. no it. it's great. <laughs> totally different test of fitness for people. Just finished our offsite visit, and now we are at our partner hotel, the Embassy Suites, and it's connected to the convention center. And guys, big news this year the hotel is being renovated. You can see they're on the top two floors right now, but by the time we stay here to compete, brand new space and I cannot wait for it. Morgan, so this hotel is awesome and we always tell people book this hotel first. Why is that? Yeah, so first of all, it's connected to the competition floor. You literally walk through a tunnel and you're right where the event is. So no need to drive or catch an Uber anywhere. But two, let's talk about this lobby. One, continental breakfast included. So all you athletes get up early, get your eggs, get your fruit, whatever. Um, they have an awesome happy hour. You'll see this lobby full of athletes and spectators during event weekend. Actually, last year, what, did we eat dinner here every night? Yeah. Because it was that good. And also, every day you also get, if you stay here, you get, what, free snacks and a free drink? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, happy hour, you get free wine, snacks. Uh, there's a pool, too, so for those of you traveling with kids that need to burn some energy. It's just a great spot. We have the event here in Charleston is staying at the Embassy Suites and then being able to literally walk across a covered bridge into the convention center. So that's what we're doing right now. Super convenient. You just roll out of bed, get out of your room and head down to the competition floor. And for us, we're here till very late. We're up very early. It makes it super awesome and super simple for us. That's cool. I want to show you guys what we're doing differently this year. So Morgan, show them this camera. So here, right here, every year we rent all of this space right here. Now what we're doing, we also always take these two rooms for our volunteers and for our staff. Now what we're doing is we are taking this ballroom space right here, where this is now going to be the dedicated athlete warm-up area. So what athletes are gonna do is you're gonna come in, you're gonna go down this hall. So just like normal, we're gonna have Vendor Village and all of our athletes hang out here, but we're gonna have more room now. So you're gonna come out when it's time for you to do, go to your workout, you'll come through here, the hall, you'll go around, you'll come in here, dedicated athlete only warm up area. You'll hit your war warm up, and then our team is gonna escort you. There's gonna be a tunnel that's gonna escort you back behind the competition floor and in straight onto the competition floors that are right here. So you'll come out, in, 
through. Super excited about this. It's gonna give way more space for this year. It's gonna give you more room to warm up. It's also gonna increase the athlete experience because you're gonna have this really awesome covered walkway, kind of like the entrance into an arena that we're gonna create for you. We're in one of the ballrooms that we're gonna use for the athlete warm-up area. So Morgan, pan that way. So all of this area you see here, and then you see where this wall is, if you come over here, follow me, this is all gonna be athlete warm-up area. You're gonna enter like we talked to you a little bit, told you a little bit about before through these doors. There'll be doors over here. So follow me. So what we're gonna do is this whole area, athlete warm-up area, you'll come in, it's gonna be quieter. Our briefers are gonna be able to brief you back here. It's just gonna be a much better experience. Come with me, Morgan. And then when you come to the competition floor, this is how you're gonna get out there. So right now, the Sons of the Confederate, we're in the South, that's right. It looks like they're having a dinner here tonight. The South will rise again. I don't even think they know we're back here. All athlete warm-up area. This door right here, your briefers and the team that escorts folks to the athlete, uh, to the competition floor, they're gonna take you this way, follow me. They're gonna take you out here and then straight through those doors right there, that right there is gonna lead you straight to the competition floor. It's gonna be awesome. Super excited for this. So come with me, let's go. So we're gonna create a tunnel. Yep, we'll have some drapes up. These lights are gonna be off. Somebody wanted to put smoke back here, but we're not doing that. We'll probably set off the fire extinguishers if we do that. But we're gonna have lights. It's just gonna be this really cool atmosphere leading you straight onto the competition floor. Heck, we might even announce you as you come out. Who knows, we'll figure that out. But you'll come out. If you're on that side of the competition floor, you'll walk that way. If you're on this side, you'll walk this way. If you're on the dance team, you'll go that way. So we went over to Holy City Brewery in our day today. We were trying to set up a way to do a Charleston Friday Night Lights event. We were gonna rent out the entire place, drink, have everybody come down from the Charleston market and throw down here on a Friday night during the qualifier. Thought they were gonna let us do it, but then we found out they do this Halloween thing out here. So, didn't work out. So if you're watching, let us know if you think there's a better place in Charleston where we can do a cool Friday Night Lights thing for the Fitness of the Coast community. But while we were here, we met this awesome guy named Connor. And Connor has a seafood food truck, chowder, lobster rolls, lobster stew. So we invited him to come to Fitness of the Coast. So now we're going to have a seafood truck vendor at Fitness of the Coast in 2025. So I guess, Morgan, it was actually pretty worth our while, huh? It was. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah, now we got to find a hotel. So we don't actually have a place to stay yet. We have no hotel, no place to stay. So we're going to go try to find a place to stay. And it's starting to rain. Let's get out of here. Oh, man.